Frankie Avalon is one of America's first teen idols. In his heyday, he was a sensation on the music charts and on the silver screen. Frankie Avalon absolutely was the biggest teen star of the late 50s and early 60s. Boys wanted to be him, girls wanted to be with him. Born Francis Thomas Avalon on September 18, 1940 in Philadelphia, Frankie Avalon was a musical prodigy as a child playing the trumpet. At age 13, a talent scout saw him performing at a party and got him an appearance on The Jackie Gleason Show. Being on The Jackie Gleason Show led to a variety of other television appearances for Frankie Avalon, eventually landing a recording contract. He recorded songs like Cupid and Teacher's Pet, Avalon's first film was an appearance in a 1957 film called Jamboree. He's effectively playing himself doing a concert version of his song, Teacher's Pet. Between 1958 and 1962, Frankie Avalon's star charted 13 singles in the Billboard Top 40 with two number one hits, Venus and Why. Avalon also acted in a number of films during this period, such as Alamo with John Wayne. He landed his first starring role with 1963's Drums of Africa. Frankie Avalon was already a musical sensation, but his breakout movie star role was in 1963 with Beach Party Movie with Annette Funicello. They actually really were the Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake or Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber of their time. They were the boy and girl next door, if you lived on a beach. Also in 1963, Frankie Avalon married Catherine Dybul, with whom he would have eight children. After making a series of beach party movies, Avalon continued to act in both film and TV. When Frankie Avalon appeared in the 1978 movie Grease singing Beauty School Dropout, it was huge for him. He was introduced to a whole new generation whose parents remembered him from the 1960s beach party movies. After his role in Grease, Frankie Avalon continued to act. He continued to record music. And then in 1985, he began a 50-city tour with fellow teen idols Bobby Rydell and Fabian Forte in an oldie show that was called The Golden Boys of Bandstand. It was a massive success at the time. Frankie and Annette reteamed for another Beach Party movie in 1987. The film was so successful that they hit the road on tour together afterwards, singing their past hits. After Annette retired in the early 1990s, Frankie Avalon focused more of his time promoting his line of cosmetic projects, but he still entertained occasionally. In 2009, sort of in a full circle moment, since he is kind of the original American Idol, he appeared on American Idol singing his 1959 number one hit, Venus. I think Frankie's gonna be remembered as the teen star of the 50s and 60s. When you think of the concept of teen star, you're really talking about Frankie Avalon.